Bioenergetics is the study of the flow and transformation of energy in and between living organisms and their environment. It encompasses the principles of thermodynamics applied to biological systems and focuses on how cells and organisms acquire, convert, and use energy to sustain life. These are the key concepts that help us understand how living organisms manage energy to sustain life. Let's get started. Energy in biological systems is present in the form of chemical energy and ATP. Chemical energy is stored in the bonds of molecules and released during chemical reactions. ATP or adenosine triphosphate is the primary energy carrier in cells, providing energy for many biological processes. There are two laws of thermodynamics important for bioenergetics. The first law says energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed from one form to another. According to the second law, in any energy transfer or transformation, some energy becomes unusable, typically as heat, increasing the entropy of the system. Now, let's discuss metabolic pathways. There are two types in living organisms, catabolism and anabolism. Catabolism is the breakdown of complex molecules into simpler ones, releasing energy. Examples include glycolysis and the citric acid cycle. On the other hand, anabolism is the synthesis of complex molecules from simpler ones, requiring energy. Examples include protein synthesis and DNA replication. Next, let's talk about enzymes and catalysis. Enzymes are biological catalysts that speed up chemical reactions without being consumed. They lower the activation energy of reactions, making them more efficient. Another major concept is redox reactions. Oxidation and reduction reactions involve the transfer of electrons between two substances. These reactions are fundamental to many biological and chemical processes. Oxidation is the loss of electrons by a molecule, atom, or ion. The substance that loses electrons is said to be oxidized. This often involves the addition of oxygen or the removal of hydrogen and results in an increase in the oxidation state of the substance. In cellular respiration, glucose is oxidized. Here, glucose loses electrons and hydrogen atoms and is converted to carbon dioxide. Reduction is the gain of electrons by a molecule, atom, or ion. The substance that gains electrons is said to be reduced. This often involves the removal of oxygen or the addition of hydrogen and results in a decrease in the oxidation state of the substance. In cellular respiration, oxygen is reduced. Oxygen gains electrons and hydrogen ions and is converted to water. Now, let's discuss cellular respiration and photosynthesis. Cellular respiration is the process by which cells convert glucose and oxygen into energy. ATP, carbon dioxide, and water. It involves glycolysis, the citric acid cycle, and the electron transport chain. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants, algae, and some bacteria convert light energy, carbon dioxide, and water into glucose and oxygen. It involves the light-dependent reactions and the Calvin cycle. Next is energy transfer and ATP. ATP consists of adenine, ribose, and three phosphate groups. ATP hydrolysis is the conversion of ATP into ADP and an inorganic phosphate, releasing energy that is used for cellular processes. Phosphorylation is the addition of a phosphate group to a molecule, often mediated by enzymes, to transfer energy and activate molecules. Finally, let's talk about the role of bioenergetics in health and disease. Mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cell, where most ATP is produced. Dysfunction in mitochondria can lead to various diseases. Conditions like diabetes and metabolic syndrome result from disruptions in normal energy metabolism. Bioenergetics is a crucial field in understanding how living organisms manage energy to maintain life. It integrates principles from chemistry, physics, and biology to explain the energetic basis of cellular processes and the overall functioning of life. Understanding bioenergetics is essential for fields ranging from medicine to environmental science, as it provides insight into the fundamental mechanisms that sustain life and the potential ways to address various health and environmental challenges. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, 
and subscribe for more content on bioenergetics and other fascinating topics.